here we go. Decal time on the on the strat pig head. Trying to decide. I think I decided I like it like that. Or more straight in line with it. Not not going up here like that. And not necessarily down here in the little the little wing. Although that's not bad. Uh, I'm just thinking maybe just a little straighter so it's more like it's in line with the peg head. Not the peg head, the, the neck. So something like that. All right. I think that's where I'm going to go with it. It's, it's one of those things like nobody's going to look at it and go like, oh, you put that in the wrong place. Um, well, some of you might, but, you know. Normal, non-guitar geek, nerd, freaks, won't notice things like that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going with, with that. Uh, yeah, so, this is sort of warm. They said warm, not hot. I did a test. Oops, they also said that you're supposed to hold on to the edges of this when you put it in the water so it doesn't curl. Maybe it's too late. Okay, maybe not. And let me look at the... Okay, it's about 15 seconds past the uh, the minute there, so... I let it go for probably 45 seconds in warmer water inside, just a blank piece. And when I was just scraping it out of the bowl, I accidentally caught the edge of it and just peeled it all up. So it's very, very uh, touchy. I already see areas of it that look like they're coming apart. And I'm, I'm a little over 30 seconds. Be very careful about how you go about doing this, apparently. And uh, the word they use was tease. So I do have it off of here. Just have to catch this other edge. And I'm going to grab some tweezers. And... I don't know if I'm going to be able to move it or not, but I'd really like to see it kind of go up a little bit, down a little bit. Huh. That did not go where I wanted it to go exactly. Let's see if I can pull it down. I, nope, I'm not pulling it down. All right, so it's where it's going to be. We're going to just... Just a tissue. Uh, this is supposed to dry for 24 hours. I'll reread that, but yeah, before you put anything over it. It looks good to me in the camera. You can't see in the camera is that I can see little uh, bumps and things like there's moisture underneath so I don't know if it's something I can kind of push out it's really super super thin that's one of the uh, claims from this company I don't remember the name I could look real quick is that they uh, these things really do disappear under lacquer so I'm, I'm hoping that uh, that's the case, and I'm thinking that as it dries, that water will pull out, will dry out, and uh, it will be flatter. But trying to coax the... Now, oh, there you go. I am actually getting some of that moisture out without disturbing anything. I don't want to be too rough on this because uh, they say you can damage the ink. So, looks 
pretty good. It's probably been well over a year since the last time I messed with anything like this. Had a guy with a Telecaster that wanted me to put a Fender logo. I believe I did a video on that and put it up. Though I would never put the Fender name on anything I built. Uh, I didn't build it. So what I did here was I, I shot uh, several coats of uh, uh, just satin lacquer from Steemac, or from, no, it wasn't Steemac, it was uh, Minwax or something. And then I was digging around in my cabinet looking for uh, some more. I actually ran into uh, some uh, Sandy Sealer, Steemac Sandy Sealer. So I, I shot several coats of that on, sanded it out and then shot a couple more. And that's what you see in here. And so when I, when I, um, it's the word I'm looking for. When I shoot over this, I'm gonna shoot over it with, uh, you know, just a few light coats of that. And I may just leave it, I shoot enough coats of it that I can kind of level sand it without affecting the, uh, the decal. Then I might just shoot another one or two coats over that. I don't want anything that's shiny. I just, you know, matte is fine with me. So I'm chasing this one little bubble and I should just leave it alone. Hopefully it'll dry out and just shrink out of there. I think it will. This company is called Rothko and Frost. And I didn't even realize they were, they were British until I got my bill and I noticed it's in pounds not uh, U.S. dollars. But they got it to me promptly. And I'm pretty sure this is the same brand I used uh, on the fender neck that I... or whatever it was. The one I used, I put fender on. All right, I'm going to leave it alone. I got it. I'm just going to keep screwing with it until something goes wrong. So let's just let it go. All right. Cheers. I'm going to I'm going to put it up in the camera here and rotate it a little bit cuz I think that if I get closer you'll be able to see the yep, get, am I going the wrong way? Yep. Always you see yeah, you can kind of see the shine there. But once that's lacquered over, of course you won't see that. So, there we go. That's it. I've got a lot of coats of uh, lacquer on this peg head. So I started out with, uh, let's reach over here. I think I actually started out with a Minwax sanding sealer. And then when I got low on that, I, I looked in my cabinet and I found out that I had some, some color tone, Stumac uh, uh, sanding sealer. So uh, after I did a lot of coats of that actually. I did a couple coats and then I put the decal on. And I'll tell you what, I found out after the fact, um, I, if you remember when as I demonstrated, I actually, uh, I could have used a little water under the decal. And I might, I've got another, another one to finish here before long. I may just do a better, a better video on that. But so I'm to a point uh, after I did the decal and I put on probably several more of the sanding sealers. I was kind of hoping to just get the sanding sealer laid down enough that I didn't have to do anything else with that, but it's really not what sanding sealer is designed to do. So I, I flat sanded everything out after that, and I've been using the Minwax um, uh, lacquer satin, clear satin. Ta-da. So, um, but now I'm to a point, and I'm going to pick this thing up here. It took a lot more coats, and i got to say, that doing, you know, two or three coats every every evening when I was out here working on other stuff, um, that I probably have at least nine to 12 coats. Nah, maybe that's an exaggeration. Maybe I only did two every night, I don't know. I would do a couple every time I was out here. But I'm gonna say between eight and 10, so <laughs> or nine and 12. Um, we're at a point where it's really hard now to detect 
any kind of edge on the uh, on the decal, and um, so I'm going to wet sand this now. Got some 800 here, and I'm just going to squirt a little water on. I'm not going to bother going into the house and getting warm soapy water. I am going to flatten that out that way. So if I have any water running off, it goes that away. Um, just going to do that. I'm actually just going to squirt the that the paper, and it's you know it's good, and I don't disagree with people that say you should soak your paper overnight and all that kind of stuff. But um, I don't know how necessary that really is. I, it's not a step that would hurt anything. And people that say that have have their reasons. I'm sure. If you're doing a bowl of water uh, and you're going from one grit to the other, I do recommend that you uh, you change your water in between grits because you could definitely pick up the coarser grit uh, in the water from the previous grit. So, and I I'm pretty secure with 800 grit that I'm not taking tons off and that uh, I've got enough on here that I don't have to worry terribly about it getting down to the um, uh, down to the decal. As usual, I'm working on more than one thing at a time here. Not tonight. Probably just do this tonight. But I've been doing a 12-string uh, project. Uh, and... Uh, my paper towels were over with the 12 string. I'm going to rotate this and I just, you saw how long I did that. Not very long really. And I've just got a little bit, see if I can tell in the, the monitor, if I get in the right direction here. I'm always going the wrong way. There we go. And I know I say that every time, so you're all probably tired of hearing that. You can see over by the decal for sure that there's a, uh, there's some shiny spots, um, and then uh, keep going that way. There's definitely shiny spots up in here. Anyway, so put it back in there. I'm going to go do that again with the 800. Then I'm probably going to go grab some 1,000 or 1,500 and do that again. Um, and find my sandpaper. There it is. So I actually have it right out here on the very end, I have it as well. I'll tell you, even though I put that many coats on, I don't think it goes on very thick. I'm used to shooting with uh, spray equipment. Getting your your decal or your, your painted logos or whatever to just lay down and look good uh, it takes a little bit of effort. Pretty good here now. I got a little bit more here. Not quite a bit of uh, stuff up here yet that needs to be sanded out. So I'll keep doing that. And down below the name here, I'm going to switch over to, like I said, the probably the 1500 uh, pretty soon here. Still have a bit here in the in the sweep. The, the end of the neck, or I should say the end of the fretboard and the, and the top of the fretboard here right in front of the net looks pretty good. Um, that doesn't actually look bad. I've just got a couple spots. I'm going to work a little more in this area and then I'll go to the 15. One thing I'd really hate to do at this point is burn through this. Time to go to the 15. thing sideways in the light and make sure I didn't have any didn't have any water dribble through here so the back I did not have any water come through the holes so that's not wet so I can take the tape off of this and touch up this uh, shellac I really liked the feel of this neck 
with the shellac on it. It actually was a really nice feel. The other thing then, once the shellac is dry, uh, a couple coats of shellac there, I will probably wax this with some scotch Bright, and uh, just to give it that really, really nice feel. Uh, okay, so you can see here, I can see, let me, I'm going to hold this up against the light and look at it. I don't see any scratches. I definitely didn't burn through.